Hello everyone, Gabriel John Coombs here once again, getting back to Let's Play Mega Man 2 for the Nintendo Entertainment System. In the last video, we made our way through Skull Castle Stage 3 and fought off against Guts Dozer, the gigantic Guts Man, which wasn't too, too bad, but it could have been done better. Anyway, in this video, we're going to move on to Skull Castle number 4. And we're going to fight off against a buoy trap, I think it's called. So, be prepared for that. I tried recording this earlier, and, and I kept screwing up too many times. You won't see Skull Castle. Uh, all my powers were drained completely. So off screen, I purposely got game over, restarted the stage at the very beginning, and the good thing is now, uh, hang on now. And the good thing is, everything is brought back up to max. So that's good. So there's really no point in me getting all this, so... Anyway, there's a med up here that requires some pretty tricky timing, and I failed to do that very tricky timing. That time I did, though. <clears throat> I'm going to try not to use uh, Crash Bomber or Item 1 all that much, mainly because I'll need both of those. I'm going to need both of those for the boss. So anyway, here's a little uh, thing now. Do we trust these floors? No, not really. Yes, we have fake floors. And I forgot to jump. Apparently. Oh my god, Mega Man, jump! Jump! He jumped! You know what? Forget it. I'm not even going to get that life. Not unless I, like... I don't know. I want that life, but... Actually, you know what? I'm going to get that life. No matter the cost. Stupid Matt! And time to do something a little bit. Uh, now you can use the bubble lid to see where the fake passages are. That's up to you. Just thought I'd show that. Just thought I'd show it. But anyway, yeah. Up here is also fake. Jump, jump, and up. And there you go. And who and who would Dr. Wily be without making the spike floor fake as well? Case in point. Yeah. There's more fake floors here, so there's no use in getting the E-Tank. And we reached our checkpoint. And now for something truly hellish. Save our state. It's time for four of these rooms full of tellies. One room is bad enough, but four? Yeah, there is four rooms full of these things. Well, four conveyor belt rooms. I do believe rooms two and four don't have tellies. Rooms one and three do. Uh, tellies. We all hate tellies. Whoever don't, whoever likes tellies, no offense, but you have serious issues if you do. Tellies are annoying as hell.
And Tellies drop items, but they drop them over pits. So I can't grab them. And there we go. Room four. Jump here. And it's time for some tricky maneuvering. Wait for the platform to be flat again. Jump! Jump. You have to time that perfectly to avoid the spikes. And I wanted you to drop. Drop something useful. I have no E tanks. Stop killing me. Large energy. Okay, time for the boss. Oh, uh, Dr. Wily Stage 3. Use your item one power to get up here. And I suck. And yeah, we're actually going to save. And we're doing a, l a little bit okay, not too bad. Crap. Yeah, expect an hour long video, don't be surprised. Oh my god. Ah. Crap! Uh, I really wish I had E-Tanks. And no, for those who are wondering, no, I'm not resetting this level, mainly because the level restarts, like, back at the beginning of the telly room. Ah. Uh. Grr, I hate this trap. Oh, you gotta be kidding. I'm out of bomb stuff. And that still don't help.
One of them killed me. And you're gone too far. Too far, too far. What the fudge? I'm saying fudge. Gotta be an, appro an appropriate YouTuber. Curses. <laughs> Look where it starts you. All the way back at the telly room. I'm not doing all those tellies. All the telly rooms again. Let me just show you something, guys. Let me just show you now. I could speed this up and try to go through it all. The fact that tellies drop items on the spikes really don't help at all. I'm just going to show you guys now. Just how bad I'm going to screw up on this. Exactly. I am screwing up so much.
I have a plan. But whether it works or not, that depends on how many times I end up dying in this one battle. So, you use one right here. Okay, well, you gotta use it, like, a little more on the safe side to be careful here. Okay. And I suck. If I do that, then that way I'll, I'll have enough not to waste a crash bomber on this door up here. And then I'll just have three shots left, which is the door and the two guys there. All I gotta do now is make sure I do it correctly in a way where I don't end up dying. And I suck. You need four. I need all four shots of the crash bomber to do this one. For this plan to work, I need all four crash bomber things. Please, I am begging you, skip to the next video. And I hit the wrong button. <sighs> Bloody tedious battle, this one. Okay. And I got up there, but I actually hit body there. And I suck. This is a cunning plan. It works. So I just gotta put it into effect in a way now where I won't get killed doing so. And I'm not turning off this one and restarting this vid again. And I suck. There's a way to do this level. You just gotta figure it out. Aha! No! I don't have enough shots. Please let something else work. Nope. I gotta see something real quick. So let's just get these guys to kill me real quick. I need to see how many more crash bomber things I got. Or even better, see if I can refill it on the way on the way there. Oh, I should get that E tank, or I should try it. God, you might have to see this again. Okay, with all the potential. 
the rats out of the way. Now I gotta try and figure out how I'm going to get the E tank now. Speed up. No. You can't get the e tag, it's not possible. <laughs> it's not possible, you can't do it. So we'll just have to do without. Speed up. The fact that these guys drop everything on spikes really don't help. And it really would help if there was enemies in that in this room. I could probably get a couple energies for the crash bomber but oh well that sucks I don't tell these one time that I'm happy you guys are here you guys can get me more energy stuff Yes, I saved. Because we're at the room before the boss anyway. That's a good place for me to get more uh, energy for me and stuff to charge up the crash bomber. That is if these guys cooperate and decide to give me... Uh, I'm not giving up on this. You guys know what to do for the boss. Use the crash bomber. Please skip ahead to the next video. And the crash bomber is filled. Now I just gotta get to the boss room successfully.
And that's another thing I don't want. Large energy, please. <clears throat> Large energy. Large energy. Large energy. Aha! Full health. Now we might be able to do this proper. With everything full with a little bit of one gone. Now we can do this properly. Okay. Uh oh. Nah. That was not my fault. Okay. And we're done. Finally. I deeply apologize for that taking so long. I really do. I deeply apologize. I do not mean to make these things long. I really apologize for that taking so long. Now, Robot Master rematch time in the next video. I will explain that I'll explain that in the next video. Now, I would like to apologize next video, because next video is going to be a bloody long video. However, unfortunately, I really can't help the fact that it's, an, that it's a really long video. I'll try to make it go as quick as I can by using weaknesses on the Robot Masters. Again, I will explain that uh, next video. So, like, thank you all for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. Again, I apologize on this really long video. And I shall see you guys next time for Skull Castle Stage 5. So, until then, this is Gabriel John Coombs saying adios, amigos.